Hey everyone, welcome back to TK's Tech Talk. Today I'm going to be showing you how to upgrade your laptop memory and the memory I've chosen for my Dell Precision 5540 is 64 gigs of RAM from Crucial. So this is coming in 2 by 32 gigabyte DIMMs, SO DIMMs, as you can see here. So the main thing to look at here is it's 1.2 volts and most DDR4 SO DIMMs should be 1.2 volts. CL19 is the latency speed. So CL19 isn't the fastest, but it's more than good enough for our day-to-day -day, day -day use. And then the speed is 2666 megahertz in this case and DDR4. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how we can op open this laptop and install this RAM inside. So let's just quickly open up the RAM first. And this will not require my trusty kitchen knife. It's just going to be basically putting open these tabs. And while I open this, I'd just like to tell you that I actually ordered this from Amazon UAE, on Amazon UAE, but from the US store. And I got it on a Prime Day deal and it was a very good deal. It was uh, something like 630 dirhams. I'm not sure exactly what that equates to, but it was quite a discount on the original price. So just a quick look at the dims. There they are. And take them out, have a look at the other side. It's got the nice crucial logo on it. So let's put that to the side for a second and let's talk about how you open up this particular laptop or if you have an XPS 15 or something similar it will be more or less the same. So we have lots of screws around the edges here. These are Torx T5 so you will need a, a screwdriver or a Torx driver something like this and you can see here it says T5 so this is some random brand I bought again with a Swifty top from Amazon. So this is perfect for this precision laptop and under the tab you will see if we just lift it slightly you can see you have some Phillips screws, so there's two Phillips screws, one on either side. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna open this up and then we'll continue the video. Okay, so I've removed all the screws, all the torque screws around the edges, as well as the two Phillips screws, which are based below, below this magnetic plate. So if you have an XPS or a Precision laptop and the Precisions are 5510 up to 5540, they're exactly the same shape and design, as well as the XPS in the similar series, like the XPS 7590 and before that. The new versions are obviously completely different uh, design, so they won't have the same screws, but they might be more or less the same. So what you need to do is look along the edges here, try and stick your finger into the edge because obviously it's very close to the main ch chassis of the laptop, and you just lift up the plate, and you'll find some heat sinks that are underneath this. So for the, I believe, CPU or GPU, and obviously for the NVMe SSD. So let's put this to the side for now. And let's have a look, a quick look inside the laptop before we continue. So what you might know is that might, this might be slightly different to the one you have. If you have a full 97 watt hour battery, then you would have a full battery going along the bottom here. I have a 56 watt hour battery, which I'm happy, very happy with because it opens this additional bay for another 2.5 inch SATA SSD. So I have a SanDisk Ultra 2 terabyte SSD in here. So obviously that's handy for additional storage to my 256 GB NVMe. So how I typically use it is, I have all of my OS and main applications installed on the NVMe for maximum performance and then for storage and games and things like that I use my secondary 2TB SSD. So one thing I want to point out is if you're upgrading your RAM, I know this is 64 gigs and it won't work with all laptops. So the main thing to remember is if you're going from Intel 9th gen onwards and I believe uh, AMD Ryzen 3 onwards probably will be the same, you will be able to upgrade to two 32 gig DIMMs because they, these laptops only have two slots and there are some laptops which have four slots which can take up to 128 gigs. So make sure your RAM is compatible. The speed is not too important. If the RAM is faster, it will just clock down to whatever your laptop can support. So in this laptop currently, I have two eight gigabyte DIMMs. So I have a total of 16 gigs of RAM. So I'm gonna remove the RAM and all you have to do, and this is the same on all laptops because the RAM is universal. You have these clips on the sides here. You just need to clip them with your fingernails like this. There we go and you can pop it out. So this is a Kingston RAM. And then we have the other one. Pull that out, another Kingston DIMM, so they're matching pairs. And now we're gonna remove our crucial DIMM from the packaging again and insert it into the DIMM slot. So it's very easy to do. Uh, I would really recommend you use gloves if you can to avoid any static charge or just touch the table or something like that because it will remove any static to avoid any potential damage 
to your laptop. So what you'll notice is on, the on this dim, one side is shorter and you have to match it up with the side that's shorter on the laptop as well, on the dim slot. So that means that this will go in this way around and you would pu put it in at an angle first, make sure it slots in fully and then just push it down. So while I'm doing the second one, I just want to point out that I have actually tested 64 gigs of RAM on an NUC 8th gen and it does work. So I believe the Precision 5530 and the Dell laptop, which is similar to that, the, sorry, the XPS laptop, which is similar to that, will have a similar configuration. So you should theoretically be able to s install up to 64 gigs of RAM even in your 8th gen laptop. However, please bear in mind that it's possible the manufacturer may only state 32 gigs on their website. So I'll just zoom in a little bit so you can see it fully installed. And one more thing I just want to point out about this additional SSD, if you do wish to install it, you may have to buy this cable that connects here. And that would be the SATA connector. And I had my drive, sorry, the drive bay already inside the laptop. And then I just attached the SSD inside. It did have a little bit of flex. It's just a little bit curved, but it doesn't affect it in any way. At the end of the day, it's just, it's not a spinning disc. So, you know, it doesn't have any moving parts. So there shouldn't be any issues with that. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to place the cover back on the laptop. So let's quickly do that while I'm on the video. And be careful not to mess about with those thermal pads, the pink and the green pad there. Assuming you're upgrading the same type of laptop. So you just put it back, clip it back in place. And once that's fully seated, you just screw it back up. So I'm going to screw this up and then we'll be right back. I'll log in and show you the 64 gigs of RAM and hopefully it's installed correctly and all working fine. Back in a moment. Okay, so I've turned the laptop on after installing the RAM and screwing it all back up. And you might be able to read this message on the screen. So the first time you turn your laptop on after changing your RAM, you'd get a screen something like this. It may not necessarily, the focus messing up there. You may not necessarily get exactly the same sort of screen. You might get a black screen, whatever it is. It's just telling you that the mouse system memory has changed and you just need to click continue. So I'll use my mouse cursor to do that now. And then I'll be back once the laptop boots into Windows. Okay, so the laptop has booted back into Windows and I've opened up Task Manager. You can do that by right clicking on your taskbar and click Task Manager and you'll get this screen. You click on the Performance tab and you can click on Memory to get information about your memory. So you can see here it's showing 63.7 GB on the right hand side, you can see it says 64 GB. At the bottom, you can see it has two of two DIMMs because we have two slots, so two slots of SO DIMM RAM, and it is indeed running at 2667 megahertz because this laptop supports 2667 megahertz. So that has gone successfully, and if your RAM is installed properly, you will obviously be into Windows and you'll be able to see the amount of free memory in your laptop exactly as this. And you can see at the moment, I'm currently using. 4.8 gigs roughly doing nothing I've just booted up of 64 gigs so how do you use 64 gigs of RAM uh, I don't know yet I just bought it because I had only 16 and I like to sometimes play with some Linux virtual machines and things like that and the extra RAM definitely helps in that regard and then you can obviously see in task manager lots of other information about your components like your hard drives where they're running how your CPU is performing and things like that so I hope this helps you upgrade the RAM in your laptop if you wish to do that and if you like this video, please feel free to subscribe. If you have any questions about upgrading your laptop memory, please feel free to ask and I will answer as clearly as possible. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.